Sheldon Cottrell, left arm fast bowler. Growing up, honestly, I never used to watch cricket. I was hard into, I was, I was just into football, honestly. I never really had an idol until um, people started telling me, me start playing and people start telling me how good I am, oh, 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 I can play for the West Indies. That's when I started watching some clip of um, I'm Courtney Walsh and see how aggressive he was, how fast he was. I'm like, yo, yeah, that's, that, that, get, that get me really excited. Jamaica is a, is a sports country, it's all about, um, it's an athletic country. Track and field, football, cricket, every sport is Jamaican. We will be in the streets, like playing in the road. That's when you know, you're you running, bowl as fast as you can with the, with the tennis ball. So a coach saw me and they're like, yo, I need to give you a, a test of light. I'm like, well, okay. So I went, um, I went by the cricket field, gave me a first time I'm bowling a, 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 cricket, a real cricket ball. First ball I bowl was a beam. <laughs> first ball, I haven't told anyone this though. First ball I bowl was a beam. Second ball was a bouncer. Quick. One, one bounce, one bounce into the rope. That's where that just started. That's where it started. After a couple of months, I stopped playing football. Yeah, I think cricket chose me. Like I wasn't, I didn't know anything, any feeling position, nothing. I just went on ball. Once again, we see the salute. Before I started playing for the West Indies, I thought, I honestly thought that it was uh, it was only superhumans who played for the West Indies because I haven't um, been that way where I was from. You haven't seen much um, superstars, are, are, so to speak. When I when I finally realized that I got the chance to go out there and, and represent the, the region, I was so pumped up. I was so energetic, like, you know, I want to make my, I want to make my family, my mom, my, my boys proud. I want to make everyone proud. I want to, I want to not do this not only for me, but just, just for everyone. Because it, it feels good even making your, your national team, especially when you're from a, a humble background. People recognize you and, and all those stuff, so that, that, and, and I think that keeps me going. I was in the Army, the Jamaica Defence Force from um, 2009 until September last year. All my salute come about is that, that that was just a way of me like paying respect, giving respect to my fellow co-workers and saluting for the West Indies. It's not only for my country, it's not only for the Jamaica Defence Force, it's for all the soldiers because because I, I, I know what it feels like to be away from my family for, for, for months and on top of months, so I know what it feels like. So it's just to show my appreciation to those guys. Seeing the kids replicating that, you know, it's like keeps me doing what, if, even though you, you have some people who would say, oh, you salute so much or whatever, but I don't pay them anymore. Once I see a, a, a child salute, I'm gonna be smiling. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on doing it.